So what if it hurts me? So what if I break down? So what if this world just throws me off the edge? My feet run out of ground. I gotta find my place. I wanna hear my sound. Don't care about all the pain in front of me. I'm just trying to be happy now. Happy now. Happy now. I'm just trying to be happy. Let me know since that song I give out shout out and part two of Love and Hip Hop season four reunion. Now, if y'all watch my other video, make sure you guys watch um, my part one Love and Hip Hop um, reunion. Um, it's already uploaded. So the song that I was singing in that review, I want you guys to give me um, the name of the song, the name of the album, all that, the uh, the year, and I'll give y'all shout out and and uh part two review okay um so did i say when it's already uploaded i mean when this shit gets uploaded uh, what am i saying god damn it okay what i mean is that the season finale because they they showed the season finale and the reunion both back to back what am i saying he's saying this okay make sure you guys go and watch my love and hip-hop season four um episode 14 review that's the season finale and make sure you watch that and if you guys know what song i was singing give the, the information on the song the date the name of the song the year the artist all that stuff and along with this video which is the part one of the reunion okay the song that i was just singing give you know that same information and i'll give y'all a shout out on next week's re um, review which will be reunion part two so I'm going to give y'all a shout out on the reunion part two for both videos, the season finale and for this one. Does that make sense? Shall I hope so. And make sure y'all leave the info so y'all can get y'all shout out for next week. Make sure you go and watch my previous um, video so y'all can get that song and I can give you a double shout out if you know both songs. God damn it. So yes, child, I'm a little scattered brain, but I'm just, oh well, I'm only being myself. Okay, um, so the reunion child. I don't know why they're trying to hurry up and get Love and Hip Hop Hollywood out the way, but for some reason they is. Um, so let me think. The reunion looks. Tierra Marie looked beautiful. She still got that red hair, but it it was it was done nicely. It was styled. Her makeup was on point. I can't quite tell what her outfit is just yet, but she looked beautiful. Tierra Marie looked really really good. Another person that I'm shocked that looked this incredible was Hazel E. I can't remember what she had on. It was something black. But um, Hazel E's makeup was on point. Her face was beat to the god. She looked gorgeous. Hazel E, uh, she's never looked so soft. She looked so soft and pretty and, and, and glossy. And she just looked good. So, shouts out to Hazel E. Um... Lyrical. Lyrical looked beautiful too. I love her goddess type dressed or whatever she had on, but her hair was the absolute complete cotton candy fool. Lyrical's hair, I hate that red hair on on her. I don't know what she's going for, what she's trying to do, but tonight it was kind of like pink mixed with like tangerine, mixed with red. It was just it was just tacky. It was pulled all the way down here, child, right like an inch above her damn eyebrows. And I was just like Lyrical, what are we doing? What are we thinking? But then I looked over at A1, and he, he's dressed like A1. So I was just like, well, shit. Sorry, Ty. Um, so, you know, I don't know why he wears so, it's so many chokers and, 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 and beats and shit. Like, I would die because I, I would suffocate myself. Like, god damn. It's just so much that's going on up here. And then he have all the shades and the glasses. And the, he 
He just edit, edit. A1 don't know what edit mean. Take something off before you leave, my God. You ain't got to wear your whole jewelry closet. You feel me? My God. Um. So anyway, that was them. Um. Let's see. Masika Malika. Well, she had on like a blazer and some pants. And she looked like, a, um, you know, at Christmas time, the little men, um, on the Hershey's Kiss commercials, the little army men that be jumping up and down. <laughs> That's what Masika looked like. And she had on a bad lace front. I could still see the glue. I was like, God. Um, who else? Miss Nikki Baby looked pretty. But Miss Nikki Baby been looking good all season. She says, shouts out to her. Uh, Safari looked good. You know, the guys really don't dress up much. They don't have on shit. Um, I like Zell's look. Um, I like this shirt. It was open, you know, giving Cisco tease. Tell me what you want from me. Tell me what it's gonna be. Um, and some leather pants, and you know, Zell Swag has never looked so clean. Zell Swag was clean for real. Um, who else I can think of? Keisha Cole. She didn't have on that spectacular, but she looked pretty. Uh, that's all I can think of. Uh, Chanel West Coast. All them gums. Um, I don't know. I didn't too much like her dress. Um, what's that child's name? St. Lucia. Solo Lucy. He had on some, some shades, but it had like lights on the ends. Just, you know, when you're a creature of the night, you have to do other stuff to, you know, appeal to the people. Um, that's pretty much it. It's not like I think of it. The looks, the host Nina Parker, she looked great. She looked great with long hair. You know, usually she'll do a Bob moment, but she looks great with this long hair for sure. Uh, so shout out to Nina Parker. Um, that's all I can think of. So anyway, let's get to the reunion. Um, they pretty much started off with Alexis Sky, Masika Malika. Alexis Sky was backstage. They felt like it was safer for her to be backstage. And Alexis Sky is with child. And apparently, according to Alexis Sky, the child is by Fetty Wap. Alexis, are you just that obsessed with Masika that you that you just want her life? Like that that you just think being a baby mama to a rapper that ain't nobody even talking about no more is 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 just um the life like it's just the shit like you know you might be quote unquote popular now to some people um but you came on this show to get back at Masika for di dealing with a guy that neither one of y'all are with right now are you just mad because she had a baby bomb so now y'all had a baby now you got a baby bomb so now y'all even Apparently, she said the baby Fetty Wap's child. I ain't heard nothing from Fetty Wap. Y'all tell me in the comments if y'all have heard some tea from Fetty Wap, but I ain't heard shit from Fetty Wap. So I don't, I don't damn know. But they was arguing backstage. Alexis looks stupid. She had on a like a um, lingerie boa set um, and bright red orange hair all the way down. But she's look ignorant. Um, I don't know why these girls be trying all these different color wigs on. I really don't. Most of these girls are very pretty girls, and if and they don't understand like that simple is better, like normal is better. Like I'm gonna beat Brooke Valentine up if I ever see her with a cotton candy wig on. That's another one, Brooke Valentine. She looked gorgeous. Brooke Valentine's a very pretty girl anyway. She's very, she has a very um kind of pin up cartoon ish look with her. She's you know just like a um like a sex kitten type of look to her you know her you know the jet black hair is real stunning on her um so they were talking about that they was going back and forth masika you know was throwing shots and saying you know you're trash you're a hoe and who's the father so little lucci in the crowd he had something to say he said um he's feeling hurt right now because he really loved alexis and i guess he wanted that to be his baby he was just like it might be twins you might need to check Fanny might be one, a baby or another one, and I might be another baby dad. And I'm just like, shut up, creature. Shut up. Um, let's see. You know, it's just going back and forth, having moments. Then all of a sudden, Monice. Monice. Uh, Monice is a pretty girl, but she tries to be editorial or avant-garde or whatever. High fashion. It's just not working for her. She had these two albino deer antlers on her shoulders she had on a white dress um and her makeup was very like um pale ish it was like too much concealing not enough foundation or something was going over slip back she just looked crazy 
Zell Sweat was right. She looked like somebody Star Trek. I didn't know what the hell that was, and she needs to stop it. Um, but she, her and Hazel got up, and they started to fight. They showed Monique backstage having a temper tantrum, and she was just like, she hate her. Apparently, Monique, you know, they escorted Hazel out, and they let her back. So Hazel was literally at the reunion for like two minutes. Um, so, you know, Zell already told us some of this tea on his Instagram live video. So make sure y'all y'all go and watch that video of me. I'll talk about that. Um, it's called, it, it, it's the screenshot of, of Zell running up at um, uh, Ray. Uh, it's a few videos back, a good bit of videos back. Um, it's a Chalaki News moment, I think. Um, Zell Sway, Instagram video, whatever. So, um, you know, she, Hazel E1 coming back. Um, Monique said she took some shots at Roseburg and he said he looked like he's 12 years old and 75 at the same time. And, you know, just being petty. I mean, obviously, these people have beasts, beasts that we don't know about, only them. And so, I don't damn know, child. So, it's just whatever with that. Um, let's see. They got on the whole Ray J thing. We saw Princess. Princess still ain't got no friends. Nia wasn't there, a part of the cast. But, I mean, who cares? But, um... Princess was there. They started talking about the whole baby thing. Um, they asked, Nina Parker asked, why are you messing with, why did you mess with Hazel and come, come for Hazel like that? And he was just like, you know what? It started off as a joke and I was kind of wrong for that. I did kind of feel bad, but she came and smashed it. You know, it's about, um, you know, proving yourself in this industry. And Ray J, he was all beat up. Apparently he's still dealing with the scooty bike, childish shit. And, um, he fell off the scooty bike and got beat up and bruised up and punched up right before the reunion. I was just like, this cute time in Ray J. Cute. Um, so they're still trying to have a baby, still trying to dibble and dabble and do their thing. Um, let's see. Uh, Bridget Kelly, she looked gorgeous. Bridget, she's a pretty girl anyway, Bridget Kelly. She ain't shit, but she's a pretty girl. Like most of these girls are pretty, but you know, ain't shit. Um, so Bridget, you know, she got up there. They started talking about the Pussy So Good song with Ray J. He's still standing by the song. But you know, Ray Ray J ignited anyway, child. Um and you know, they started going back and forth with her and her man. I keep forgetting it, James, that's his name. Um, and you know, so far as trying to hit on Brooke, you know, trying to make jokes. Bridget trying to make jokes and stuff and you know, uh, she was just like, it's just unfortunate how everything happened. But, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, let's see. They got on Brooke Valentine. She was talking. Um, I believe Marcus came up there. Or maybe he didn't. Not just yet. No, it was Brooke Valentine, Booby, and Keisha. They came up there talking. Booby made a comment. He said, he's cool with being single. Brooke um, interrupted. And just was like, no, you're a southern boy. You ain't cool with being single. And. Yada to the yada. I thought Keisha was going to give it to Brooke for a minute, but she didn't. I was like, damn, Keisha dropped the ball. But Keisha Cole's just on the show to promote her music. That's it. She ain't with no mess. She ain't with no drama. And I feel her on that. Because I would be the same way if I was on this shit. Like, I'm not going to fight all 14 of y'all. Hell no. Um. So, anything else that happened that was interesting? Uh... Uh, Ray J and Fizz, they briefly talked about the whole B2K thing. Um, you know, look, J Bud wasn't there. And, you know, they was just saying that basically, um, that, you know, I just felt like he was coming at me wrong. And, you know, they apologized to each other. Fizz kind of gave it to Omarion. He was just like, you know, Omarion's on this high horse. And, and A1 chimed in. It was just like, Omarion's on this high horse. He thinks he's the shit. He thinks he this and that. And he's not. Um, you know, none of his solo shit will ever be as big as anything B2K has had. And I was just like, I completely agree. As much as, you know, we love, you know, Omarion and, and, you know, everybody needs to go on their own solo journey and have moments. This whole B2K thing, like if y'all really did it right and y'all was all committed and focused and got the right team behind y'all and all that, I believe that they could really do something because they're still all young, you know, and, and they can really, you know, just do it. Um, so who knows if, if they're going to work it out, but I wonder if Omarion tweeted anything or something or said anything throughout the night, but the fact that he's not answering Lil Fizz's phone calls, even if he don't want to do it, just say you don't want to do it out of your own mouth. Like he's having other people say that he don't want to do it and stuff. It, then y'all grow up with Fizz. I thought you and Fizz didn't have an issue. So I don't know. 
you know, how niggas act child when they think they somebody. Um, and so the last thing they talked about pretty much was Ray and, um, and Zale. And, you know, it was just basically just a back and forth banter between the kids. Um, you know, Masika chimed in. She was just like, you're a snake. You slithered in a snake. And she was just like, yes, I did. I did that. Let me tell you why I did that. I did that because you was, um, pooching around, doing all kinds of shit, messing around with Ray. They was both, both Ray and Zell was just both basically jealous of one another. Ray said that he went on ahead and blocked Zell before he actually met him. Um, because he just didn't want that kind of energy around him. Apparently, Ray and Zell have mutual friends or whatever. And, you know, he was just like, he heard some bad things about him. He don't want him around him and all that. And Zell was just like, if a person blocked me, I'm punching them in their eye on sight. And I'm just like, well, why, Zell? Shit, I got about 40 people on my block list. But it was wrong for Ray to just go ahead and block Zell out of nowhere. I was just like, where the hell did that come from? Who just go blocking people all willy-nilly for no reason? You haven't even met them. At least give them a, a chance, you know. But he didn't. Um... And they basically was just defending each other's friends. And, you know, the gays is just very competitive. With gay guys and, and with women um, of all kinds, it's very um, a competitive type of field um, for no reason. No reason. So, um, anyway, they was just going back and forth and, and having moments. Um and, you know, Nina got on uh, Zell because he always saying fat jokes to Ray. And I appreciate her for saying that because nobody talks about that. You know, everybody was laughing. He was just like, I don't understand why people are laughing, you know, talking, you know, about him being fat and all that kind of stuff. It was just like, he was just like, oh, that was just my um thing. That, the first thing that I thought of, I don't even know what I'm going to say before I say it. Like, I really don't mean any harm. And basically, Zell's just a big child, basically. And just, if you do something to him, he's just going to do something back. He's just going to keep messing with you. And, you know, he's just he's just hella childish. But do I think that Zell is a bad person? No. Um, but, you know, he's just childish. And he just got a, a long way to go to, you know, just fully grow up and, and realize what's important and what's not. Like Masika and Modis, they're not important, dear. Like, they can, obviously, they've chosen Ray. Ray's a kiss, Ray done kissed enough ass. So just let them go and move on. So anyway, it ended with um, Zell Swag getting up to give uh, Ray a hug. And then they just showed the audience reactions, which is always off, by the way. That's so annoying. But they just showed the audience reactions. And, you know, Zell Swag already said what he did. He tried to reach out to give Ray a hug. And Ray squinched up like he didn't want to touch him as if he was better than him. And then, you know, Zell just slapped him or punched him or whatever the hell he did. He made him bleed and so. Next week is going to be a mess. Ray going to be crying on the stage and people going to be coming to his aid. And like I said, y'all go back and watch my video and y'all can get all the tea that Zell Swag said himself on his um, Instagram live video. Um, so it was just a mess. I mean, it's just, it's, un it's, un it's unfortunate how that whole thing happened. I wish we all could just come together as black people, as black gay people, as, as black women, as is is black straight men is is black transgender people male and female i just wish we all can just come together because we all black like where do you get don't you get that and if you're a black woman and if you're black and gay and if you're black and lesbian like you you're like a double minority like it's just it's constant shit we should all be together and come together and find the same fight it's had this shit is just silly and childish as to why you're fighting anyway it's like, oh, she could be my friend, but she can't be your friend. Oh, no, you can't talk to him. If you talk to him, I'm talking to her to get you back. Then It's stupid. It's stupid. And, and they don't even know that they're being used as pawns, um, Ray and Zell. And it's sad. But everybody wants to be seen. Um, so anyway, that was pretty much it. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this video and everything that happened on the reunion. You know, all the good stuff. Give me all the tea in the comments, darling. I love you so much. Share, like, comment. Help a brother out. I'll try my best to continue to give you guys product. No, I will. I'll give you guys product, you know, as, as long as y'all stick with me, child. Tell everybody about the videos. Tell everybody about Mr. Cholaki. With that said, I am um, Mr. Cholaki. Like, comment, subscribe. I already said that about 14 times. Um, share. Um, add this Kingsworth on Instagram and Twitter. Add this Kingsworth 89 on Snapchat. Chase Kingsworth on Facebook and all that good stuff. 
I love you guys so much. Have a blessed day, night, afternoon, whenever. Peace.